Hey there, I'm Dr. Zerker at the Animal Hospital of Statesville, and today we're talking about the PenHip procedure. So PenHip is an x-ray procedure to assess a dog's hips, um, both in terms of the confirmation of the hips, but also the likelihood of developing hip problems down the road. And so uh, hip disease is something that can be very common in dogs. Um, there is a genetic component, but genetics are complica uh, complicated. And so it's not always a one-to-one -one just because mom has bad hips doesn't mean the puppies will have bad hips. There's a lot that goes into it, which makes it very frustrating. So pen hip is a procedure that was developed by the University of Pennsylvania um, to better assess the dog's hips, um, both in terms of its risk for arthritis and hip disease down the road, but also so that we can determine breeding qualities for the parents. So the way that the, the hip works is there is the head of the femur and then the, the hip socket basically cups the head of the femur. And ideally we have that nice tight confirmation, the dog can walk around um, and has good coverage. There are two ways that dogs can develop hip disease or, or have poor hip conformations. One way is that the instead of a tight cup with the hip socket, there can be kind of a flatness to it. And so instead of good coverage, there can be some looseness where that uh, hip can move around. The other way that we can run into hip disease is what's called laxity or, or looseness of that joint. And so instead of the, the femur fitting in really tightly, it can move around um, for one reason or another. And that movement can predispose that joint to arthritis and pain and inflammation. So the purpose of the pen hip test is to assess both the conformation and the laxity within that hip to, to know what that dog's status is. So what we do is we take a series of three x-rays. Uh, we do this under sedation so that we can get be able to manipulate the dog's legs the, the way that we need to to assess the hips. Um, if they are uh, tense uh, because of what we're doing, um, we don't have that ability to manipulate the hips the way that we should and so then it can interfere with our results. Um, it can be performed on any dog after four months of age um, and so a lot of our breeding dogs I recommend um, eight or nine months of age as a minimum but in theory as young as four months especially if we're concerned about the dog's um, hip conformation because there are some surgeries that can be done by four to five months of age to alter their hip conformation. Um, and so if we know that younger, we can interfere sooner. Once the dog is sedated, we take a series of three x-rays. Um, the first one is the dog uh, with its hips fully extended. So we can see how that hip fits into the, or how the, the femur fits into the hip socket. Um, that's called our extended view. That allows us to assess that, that first part, the conformation of that socket. The remaining two views assess laxity. And so we take basically a before and after, if you think about it that way, before we assess laxity versus after we assess laxity. So first is looking at the head of the femur fully into that socket, what does it look like, um, followed by uh, a distracted view, which is the hallmark of the pen hip procedure. And so this is what we call a distractor. This is a specific tool um, designed by the University of Pennsylvania specific for this test. Um, and this Distractor goes the width of the dog's pelvis. So you can see the last dog I did was a very small dog because uh, its pelvis is narrow. From there, you put it between its legs, um, where along the pelvis, and you push the legs in. So it's sort of like if I push against my shoulder, I'm moving my arm in. I'm not popping my shoulder out of the socket or anything dramatic, um, but it puts a little bit of 
pressure to the side on that joint. And so if there is laxity in that joint, there's, there's looseness, when I put some pressure, there will be movement. Um, if there's not, then it won't move that much. Every dog is going to have some extent of laxity in that, that joint. Um, nobody's perfect, right? Um, and so this is a zero to one scale, basically 0% to 100% laxity. Um, and for each breed, when we submit to pen hip, they will tell us for that breed, the range of scores typical of that breed and the breed average. And then it will tell you where your dog compares. So is your dog within that range? Is it above average? Is it below average? Um, and based on that numerical score, based on how much laxity there is, we can determine the risk of developing arthritis down the line, and we can use these numbers to pair breeding dogs, uh, or dogs for the purpose of breeding, to better the hips of the offspring. There is evidence that dogs uh, selected for or using the pen hip numbers as opposed to OFA categories, fair, good, excellent, um, having a number and pairing it that way, um, we can see improvement in future generations of those hips much more quickly and much more dramatically than we do with the OFA alone. Um, and so that's another really good benefit of this pen hip procedure. A lot of uh, dogs that do pen hip are usually intended for breeding, uh, but we do have a number of dogs that we do because there is a concern about their hips. We're considering surgery for them to correct their hip conformation or proactively we just want to know what that dog's risk assessment is for developing hip arthritis down the line. Um, and so there are a lot of really good uses for this, this x-ray procedure. And we're fortunate here at the Animal Hospital of Statesville to be certified to be able to do this uh, because it's a, because of the certification process, there are relatively few clinics able to do this procedure. Um, if you are interested in talking about it more with your dog, please feel free to give us a call. We can talk through the process um, and get you scheduled.